and I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow. Help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Israelites, are you ready to be redeemed? This is a serious question one must ask oneself. If the Most High sent the word of God today to redeem his people, would your name be found written in the book of life? Throughout the eight years Open Diary have been on YouTube, I have heard discussions about who are the Israelites, how did the Israelites became white, I've heard countless teachings about accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, When it comes to the Most High, the Father, I barely hear any teachings on the Father. Majority of Israelites and strangers stop at Messiah when it comes to their spiritual journey. A great majority of Israelites don't know the Most High, the Father. The scripture in the book of Isaiah confirmed that the people of the Most High don't know him. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee. Though thou hast not known me. The verse prior in the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4 said, I have surnamed you. The father said, I have called you by your name, but you don't know me. For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I have quoted the scriptures you just heard in the book of Isaiah on multiple videos. The Most High the Father said to his people in his words, you don't know me. Some Israelites can't seem to comprehend that before the Most High wake you out of your slumber, you serve the idols of the heathens. No matter how the heathens package their idols to resemble the God of Israel, their idols cannot replace the Most High the Father. A great majority of you participated in idol worship. When you partake in the altar calls, you were praying and petitioning an idol. The God of this world is not the most high, the father. Therefore, a great majority of you serve idols. There's a large population of Israelites that don't know the most high. The awakening is giving you the opportunity to get to know the God of Israel. Israelites, The scriptures in the book of Deuteronomy and countless other books in the Bible did not lie when it say you would serve gods made out of wood and stone. Gods your ancestors have not known in the land of your captivity. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. How can a people serve a God they don't know? Unfortunately, a great majority of Israelites serve gods they don't know, nor did their ancestors have known. There's a large population of Israelites who believe they know the Most High, the Father. Despite spending multiple years serving the false version of the Most High in religion, the same Israelites that was deceiving religion came into the awakening believing they know the Most High, the God of Israel. There's a great majority of Israelites who don't know the Most High, nor do they serve the Most High, despite being in the awakening. They serve the Messiah that came in his own name. The same Messiah that claimed to be the Most High, the Father in the flesh. Many Israelites serve the Roman God and believe the Roman God is the God of Israel. Israelites, that is false. The Roman God that you have worshipped and served in the religion called Christianity is not the God of Israel. The Roman God idol have taken the likeness of the Most High to deceive the world to bow down and worship him. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Israelites, before you flee the land of your captivity, 
Before you begin to prepare to survive the wilderness, you need to get to know your God. You won't be able to survive any attacks from the kingdom of darkness and your enemies gathering against you if you don't have your God to fight for you. Throughout the scriptures, the Most High, the Father said, the battle is not yours, but mine. The Most High also said, vengeance is his, he will repay. And he said, hearken ye, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. The Most High cannot fight for a people that don't serve Him, nor do they know Him. If you pay attention to our ancestors' journey in the scriptures, when they served the Most High, no enemy could stand against them. When our ancestors forsake the Most High to serve idols, their enemies prevail against them. The Most High cannot fight for a people that don't serve Him. Whenever our ancestors repent and return to the Most High, that is when they obtain the help they need to win against their enemies that gathered against them. Whenever our ancestors forsake the Father, He gave them into their enemies' hands. And they forsook the Lord, and served Baal and Ashtoreth. And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. And He delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about, so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Israelites, your number one priority in the awakening is to repent and return to the Father. Without the Most High, you won't survive the attacks from the kingdom of darkness. Your enemies will continue to oppress you and rule over you if you don't know the Most High, the Father. You can't obtain salvation if you don't know your God and what your God is expecting from you. I know we all want to leave the land of our captivity with the wealth of the heathens and inherit the promised land the Most High gave to us as an inheritance. It's prophesied that the remnant will be gathered and the Most High will put the remnant of his people back on their land. In order for you to be a part of the regathering of our people, you have to serve the Most High, the Father, in the spirit and in truth. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Israelites, you cannot inherit the coming kingdom if you don't know the Father. Majority of you believe you were serving the Father in religion. You were serving idols. Even the Messiah many of you worship and serve in religion, as well as in the awakening, is not the Most High the Father. Many people have been deceived into serving the Messiah as the Most High the Father. Through this great deception, many people are perishing. Israelites, you truly do perish for a lack of knowledge. That is why it's important for you to increase your knowledge. When your knowledge increases, you make it harder for the Satans to deceive you. Israelites, you have to open your eyes to see that the Satans have truly deceived the whole world. The Satans created religion to keep you in sin. The Most High is making the truth available for all so that his people will return to him. Throughout the scriptures, the Most High is pleading with his people to return to him. The Most High went as far as to ask his people, What iniquity have you found in me that you would forsake me to walk after vanity? Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and are become vain? The Most High the Father is not exempt from rejection. Despite the world proclaiming to serve the Most High, in the scriptures the Most High is revealing the constant rejection he received from his people in the world. The Most High said he would plead with our children to get us to return to him. Some Israelites believe they never forsake the Father to serve idols. If the people of the Most High never forsook him to serve idols, then we wouldn't be in the land of our captivity. The Most High wouldn't be asking this generation to return to him. The scriptures prophesied that you would start to remember yourself in the land of your captivity. Our generation is the one fulfilling the scriptures of remembering ourselves. Israelites, 
Why did you need to remember yourself if you were serving the most high? Israelites, the time has come to bind up the spirit of pride and humble yourselves and return to the Father. If you ever participated in religion, you serve other gods. All of us have been led astray through religion as well as through family traditions. That is why the Most High had to draw us back to him. The Father had to call us out of darkness into his marvelous light. But ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Two things should be happening in the awakening, repentance and the people of the Most High returning to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. Presently in the awakening, repentance and returning to the Father is overshadowed by Israelites being distracted about the identity of other bloodlines and end-time prophecy. If some Israelites spend the same amount of time getting to know the Most High, the Father, the way they invest countless days, years, months, and hours investigating Esau and other bloodlines, the spirit of confusion wouldn't lead so many astray. In addition, we all would be on one accord. The Satans have some Israelites focusing so much on prophecy that they neglect the most important command the Most High the Father gave to his people at this time. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The scriptures said we should be vigilant and pray without ceasing. In order to overcome the coming troubles ahead, you need the Father. If you serve an idol that can't do anything for you, when the men of sin take his seat and the mark of the beast is here, many will submit to the abominations. The Most High, the Father, spent countless generations warning his people of. When you serve the Father in the spirit and in truth, the Most High will order your steps and keep you safe from the evil the kingdom of darkness shall do on the earth. Israelites, it's the Most High that will keep you safe. You can prepare to escape the judgments against the cities you dwell in. You can take steps in preserving food and water for your family. Without the help of the Most High, you won't survive the wrath of the Most High against the nations. This is why you see some Israelites who left the land of their captivity to find refuge in Africa. They end up finding the devil in Africa waiting for them. The Most High is the one that does the great work in you, and it's the Most High that will order your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The Israelites who are heavily focused on the prophecies about destructions will face the same troubles in the lands they take refuge in. Many people are forgetting that it's the Most High that will deliver us from all the lands he scattered us into. Israelites, don't let the Satans deceive you into focusing on trying to save your life on this earth over repenting and returning to the Father. The scripture said, whoever lose their life for my sake will find their life. Whoever tried to save their life will lose their life. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Israelites, your spirit in eternity is more important than the flesh body so many of you are fighting to preserve in the land of your captivity. The material possessions you accumulate over the years will not transfer to eternity. The scripture said no matter what precautions you make to save your life in this world, you will eventually lose it. The time has come for you to prepare for the coming kingdom. Any Israelite that serve idols won't spend eternity with the Father. Life in this world is temporary. Once you leave this world, eternity starts. Make sure you're serving the Most High, the Father. He it is that can save your life. Many of us dream of the day the Most High will regather his people. We all want to be delivered from the land of our captivity. Our deliverance is not coming with peace and harmony. The scriptures in the book of Daniel said, when Michael stands up, it will be a time of trouble. Before Michael stands up to deliver our people, we will be experiencing all kinds of trials and tribulations. The scriptures in the book of Daniel said, only the people whose name is found written in the book will be delivered. 
and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Some Israelites believe because they are in the awakening and they know their Israelite heritage that makes them a part of the remnant. I see a lot of Israelites in the awakening and they are aware of their Israelite heritage. However, their heart is still in Christianity. They serve the Roman God. They follow the doctrines and traditions of Christianity. Knowing your Israelite heritage and being knowledgeable about the awakening doesn't make you a part of the remnant. Repenting and returning to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth make you a part of the remnant. The problem many Israelites are facing in the beast system and in the awakening, they have been misled into serving idols. For some Israelites, it's difficult for them to let go of the doctrines from the beast religion. Because the spirit of fear have a strong hold over their life, they try to serve the Most High, the Father in the awakening, the way religion have taught them to serve their idols. A great majority of Israelites pray in the Roman God's name. Some Israelites have left the church, but their spiritual journey is deep rooted in religion. Israelites, don't let religion cause you to perish for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Being a part of the awakening and knowing your Israelite heritage will not get your name written in the book of life. Religion have taught the people to have faith. The workers of iniquity also mislead the people to believe that accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior will cause them to inherit the coming kingdom. A lot of people rely on Jesus and their faith to give them access to the coming kingdom. The very scriptures many Israelites claim to read said, faith without works is dead. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Israelites, there is no way you will inherit the coming kingdom without any works written about you in the book of life. By now you should know the Most High keep a record of every word you said. The angels whose role it is to document your life keep track of everything you have done in your life. If faith is all that is written about you in the book of life, you will not inherit the coming kingdom. Last week, you learned to pray to the Father directly. In the message, you learned that Michael is responsible to present our prayers to the Father in the heavens. When the prayers of the righteous is presented to the Most High, the Father reward the righteous based on their works and how they labor for the kingdom. And in that very hour, Michael descended and the gate was opened and he brought oil. And as for the angels which brought the baskets, which were full, he filled them with oil, saying, Take it away, reward our friends and a hundredfold, and those who have laboriously wrought good works. For those who sow virtuously also reap virtuously. And he said also to those bringing the half-empty baskets, Come hither ye also, take away the rewards according as ye brought, and deliver it to the sons of men. Then he said also to those who brought the full and to those who brought the half empty baskets, go and bless our friends and say to them that thus says the Lord, you are faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. As you can see, the Most High rewarded the righteous based on the good works they have done. Michael said to the angels, give to the righteous a hundredfold of what they have sold. Religion spent multiple generations teaching the importance of having faith, as well as depending on Jesus to get them into the kingdom. If your name is not written in the book of life, you're not entering the coming kingdom. In addition, if you don't have any works written about you in the book of life, you will not inherit the coming kingdom. The book of Revelation said on judgment day, when the dead stand before the most high, the books will be open. The dead will be judged based on what is written in the books about their works. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, 
which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Israelites, although everything about you is written down, your good deeds are more important with the Most High. Israelites, you should shift your focus onto how you can serve the Most High to increase your works for the kingdom. Meditate on how you can serve your people to increase your works. The scriptures in the book of Revelation went on to say, if your name was not found written in the book of life, that person was thrown into the lake of fire. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. If we go back into the book of Daniel in the scriptures, we see how Michael is coming to deliver our people and all the righteous during the time of trouble. The scriptures inform us that everyone whose name that is found written in the book would be delivered. In the awakening today, we have Israelites arguing about the identity of Esau. We have Israelites wanting to know their tribes. We have Israelites calling themselves watchmen that are focusing on the signs of the times. The scripture said to us, your name must be written in the book of life to be delivered. The way your name will be written in the book of life is based on your works. Currently in the awakening, Israelites are waiting to be delivered and they don't know the one that is coming to deliver them, nor do they know the father who will send the deliverer. Majority of Israelites and indigenous black people are waiting on Yahshua to save them. The scriptures in the book of Revelation said the word of God is coming to execute the wrath of the Most High. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and green. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Israelites, before you prepare to flee the land of your captivity, make sure you know the Most High and the Word of God the Most High was sent to deliver you from the times of trouble. There's a lot of Israelites who are eagerly waiting to leave the land of their captivity. There are some Israelites that can't wait to be delivered. The scripture said the Word of God will return like a thief in the night. The scripture said just like in the days of Noah, the flood came and the people were partying and getting married and enjoying life. While the affairs of the world consumed them, they failed to recognize their end was near. The people who disregard the warnings of the Most High perish in the flood. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. We have Israelites wanting to escape the land of their captivity from the coming wrath against the nations. Majority of Israelites are focusing on how to preserve their life during the perilous times. If you serve the Father in the Spirit and in truth, the Most High will preserve your life. That is the assurance the Most High gave to those whose heart is perfect towards Him. While the Most High is preparing a place for you, take the time He's giving you to get to know the Father. The deep truth the Most High has been revealing, many Israelites are having a difficult time understanding and accepting the truth. The fact that the people of the Most High can't differentiate the Father from the God of this world is very sad of our people. The fact that the Most High revealed the identity of the Word of God that became flesh and many Israelites continue to reject Him until this day show that we are not ready to be redeemed. Israelites, you have to know who you serve. Like the scripture said in the book of Proverbs, who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? 
A great majority of Israelites will identify the God of Israel as Jesus, as well as the word of God that became flesh. In the awakening, each Israelite group and assembly have a name for the word of God and the Most High. As a people, we have a lot to learn about the Most High. That is why the awakening needed to happen for the people of the Most High to learn the truth about their God. Many of you have been crying out to false gods. The scriptures in the book of Isaiah said, you have not called upon me, Jacob. You have been weary of me. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. If we have not been calling on the Most High, who were we crying out to? Israelites, let us utilize the time the Most High is giving to us in the awakening to draw near to him. Returning to the Father is key if you want to establish a personal relationship with the Most High. As we allow the Most High to show us who he is, our knowledge would increase. The Satans can no longer deceive us with their idols. The people of the Most High will be able to differentiate the God of Israel from the idols of the heathens. Religion did a very good job of merging the God of this world with the Most High, the Father. The alterations that was done in the scriptures deceived many to accept the God of this world as their Lord and Savior. If Israelites take the time to read the scriptures for themselves and allow the Holy Spirit to lead them to truth, they will understand that the Most High is our only Savior. Besides him, there is none else. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I... Even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. Israelites, we must take the time to examine ourselves to see if there could be any offense found in us that could cause a separation from the Most High. Focusing on the other nations and their bloodline should be at the bottom of our priorities. We need to get to know the Most High, the Father, and how He operates. We can no longer serve the Most High, the God of Israel, through false idols. The Most High have poured out His Spirit on His people. The Holy Spirit is revealing all sorts of truth in the awakening. The time has come for us to humble ourselves and listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling us about the Most High. Only the Holy Spirit could reveal the deep truth. The time has come for us to listen to the Spirit of the Most High. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. The heathen's school system cannot reveal truth to us, nor can the beast's religion. Remember, Satan's native language are lies. We must silence the noise and allow the Holy Spirit's voice to increase to tell us about the Most High, the Father. How can we be waiting on the Most High to save us from the land of our captivity through the word of God if we don't know who they are? Repentance and returning to the Father should be our number one priority. No Israelite or stranger that don't repent and denounce the idols will inherit the kingdom. That is why it's important to allow the Most High to increase your knowledge. The scripture said wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom. With all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Israelites, make sure to ask the Most High to give you understanding about the scriptures. The Most High gave us the signs of the times to let us know where we are in our redemption. Israelites, it's very important to not let the massive amount of information the Most High is making available cause you to drift from returning to serve the Most High as well as repenting to receive forgiveness of sins. I know the truth is fascinating. However, Israelites, don't slack on repenting as well as getting to know the Most High, the Father, in the awakening. If majority of you are honest with yourselves, you will come to the realization that if the word of God was to return today, a great majority would not make it into the kingdom. The scripture said, broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many are on the broad road. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Israelites, we shouldn't waste time trying to find out about the other nations. 
The Most High charged us to humble ourselves and repent. The Father said, turn from our wicked ways so that he could heal our land. Being vigilant is important in the end times. However, we must have a balance. We must honor the command of the Most High to return to him as well as repenting. Knowing the timeline during the end times are important. However, what's the point of having this knowledge if Satan continues to deceive you through idolatry? Being prepared for perilous times is important. However, what is the point of preserving if the enemy can walk into your house and take it from you at any time? Without the protection of the Most High, your oppressors can do what they want. Israelites, we must get our priorities in order. Repenting and returning to the Father should be a daily routine. Getting to know the God of Israel is far more important than knowing the identity of Esau. Israelites, don't let the Satans distract you at such a time like this. We must return to the Father so that he could return to us. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Israelites, don't allow the Satans to transform the awakening into a circus. The fighting within gives the spirit of division permission to destroy our nation. Pray to the Father and ask him to teach you to balance your spiritual life. Israelites, you can give honor to Yahshua every day. If you don't know the Father and his Son, your praise and honor is done in vain. You can study the scriptures to show yourself approved, but if your works or good deeds are lacking, your name will not be written in the book of life. Israelites, instead of letting the Satans bring division and confusion into the awakening, ask the Father to show you how to serve him in the spirit and in truth. Ask the Father to show you how to increase your works. There's nothing worse than doing all sorts of kingdom works for false gods and idols. Israelites, don't waste the time the Most High is giving you in the awakening to serve the idols of the heathens. None of us wants to hear, depart from me, I never knew you. By then, it will be too late for another chance. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Israelites, allow the Most High to transform you by renewing your mind. There's nothing wrong with being a watchman or preparing for the worst. However, what is the point of being vigilant if you don't know your God? When you serve the Most High, the Father will supply all of your needs. Seek the face of the Most High. The Father said, you will find him if you look for him with all of your heart. Where your spirit spent eternity is far more important than preserving your flesh body. That is why we must get our priorities in order. Israelites, the time has come for us to humble ourselves, repent, and return to the Father. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. 